Johannes Kepler was a German astronomer and mathematician born in 1571. He was the first one to discover that planets follow an elliptic orbit. Kepler studied the golden ratio in depth and discovered a golden triangle that has his name. In 1595 he also discovered that if he inscribed an equilateral triangle in a circle and another circle inside the triangle, the ratio between both circles radii was very similar to the ratio between the radii of Saturn and Jupiter's orbits. Centuries later, in the last century's 80s, starting from a very similar geometric figure, George Adam, who lived in a psychiatrist institution in the US, discovered the intriguing relationship between the equilateral triangle and its circumference. The distance between the triangle's middle points and the distance between the middle points to the external circumference follow the golden ratio, a ratio covered in chapters 4 and 7, and related to Kepler's idea. As the inner circle touches the triangle in the middle points of its sides, and that is the starting point of Adam's idea. Using Adam's idea, the dipartahedron appeared in 2012. Hydra rotating one of them. In 2013, another figure appeared. It was unknown to me and I named it Dibertapa, as it is formed by two Diberta Hydra and it contains a mock up Ba or estellated octahedra. The Dibertapa is related with all platonic solids. The octahedron, the tetrahedron, the cube or hexahedron, the dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. Funny enough, Kepler was also very attracted by the platonic solids. Therefore, the Dibertoba groups some of Kepler's ideas like the platonic solids and the golden ratio. The white symbology of the Makaba and the wisdom of the Enneagram. The Enneagram was already found in the Divertahedron and can also be found in each of the eight rings of the Divertaba. It's the magic of number five.